Hey guys, it's me Savvy, and in today's video I want to talk all about Kwanzaa. So if you do not know what Kwanzaa is, it is a cultural holiday that African Americans usually celebrate and I wanted to make this video to kind of explain and kind of just show you guys what it is all about because not a lot of people talk about it. So you can like, you know, anyone will talk about Christmas or like Hanukkah but not a lot of people talk about Kwanzaa so I wanted this to be one of those videos out there that are for people who want to just learn more about it and to just you have you know just to celebrate it so um yeah i think it is very important for me to make this video because of you know the crazy stuff that happened this year 2017 was crazy and i definitely think that we should do better in 2018 but um yes it is really important to just celebrate your culture and where you came from and your roots and everything so that's why i am making this video so make sure that you keep on watching and let's go ahead and get on with the video. Okay, so first we're going to start off with what I am wearing right now. So I am wearing a dashiki, which is an African outfit, and yeah, as you can see, it is black and it has, you know, gold detailing here. It's very intricate, it is very nice, and I'm also wearing um, the same colored, like, little headscarf. It's a big scarf that you wrap around your head and then you tie it into a certain knot a different way. So, um, yes, I typically do not wear this, you know, every night for Kwanzaa, but it is nice to have the dashiki and to just, you know, kind of look the part. Next, we're going to move on to the seven principles, which is the candles and all of that stuff. So, I have this little bookmark here and we're going to read out the names. And just because I am of African descent does not mean that I can read all these names. It is difficult for me to, so if I slip up or if I don't say it right, don't judge me. So, first we have Omoja, which means unity, Kujichalia, which is self-determination, Ujima, which is collective work and responsibility, Ujama, which is cooperative economics, Nia, purpose, Kuumba, creativity, and Imani, faith. So, those are the seven, you know, principles, and it is really important. So we light the candles for every day and for every separate principle. Kwanzaa is celebrated after Christmas, so um, from December 26th through January 1st is when we celebrate Kwanzaa and everything, so that is nice. Next, I'm going to go over the Kwanzaa symbols. So there are seven basic symbols. Mazao, which is the fresh fruits and veggies. They represent the crops of the harvest and the rewards of hard work. So I don't have, you know, fruits and vegetables up here, but I know you guys know what that is. Next, we have Mkaya, which is the mat on which the other items are placed. So, I have the mat here, but I'm not going to really lift it up because I don't want to move the candles, but this is a mat right here, and we just place all, all of our stuff. We have this little box that holds everything that we need in it. We have Kinara, which is a seven-armed candle holder, which holds the seven candles. So, this right here, the candle holder is called the Kinara, right here. Almost lost a candle there. Mukindi, which is the ears of corn representing the children and the family or house. So we have these corns here. We have bigger ones and like, you know, nicer ones, but I just grabbed these little, oops, these little ears of corn. So we usually have three to represent, you know, each child of the family, me, Allison, and Sydney. So, you know, yeah, little corn. Mishoma Saba, the black, red, and green candles which are placed in the Kimara. They are seven, there are seven in all to represent the seven Kwanzaa principles. We have the candles, we have red, black, and green to celebrate the principles of Kwanzaa. Kikombe Chao Maja, which is the unity cup from which a liquid, usually water or juice, is poured to honor the ancestors. So this is the unity cup, as you can see it's just brown, it has some nice detailing on it, and then we pour the juice inside. Last is Zawadi, which are the gifts given usually to children. So we really don't get um, gifts for Kwanzaa because it is right after Christmas. So we, like, for Christmas we, you know, all get gifts. So it's not really, we like, we should get extra gifts for Kwanzaa. But, um, yeah. And there are two additional symbols, which is um, a bayandera, which is the black, red, and green flag introduced by the civil rights leader Marcus Garvey as a symbol for people of Af African ancestry around the world and Ngozu Saba, which is a poster of the seven Kwanzaa principles. So we didn't really have a poster for that, or the flag, but we have this little bookmark, which we refer to to, 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 <laughs> um, 
have the seven principles here. And, and next, I'm going to just read out some, you know, common questions that, you know, people ask about Kwanzaa, just to kind of get some more um, insight all about it. So, um, the most common question is, what is Kwanzaa? So, Kwanzaa is a unique American holiday that pays tribute to the rich cultural roots of Americans of African ancestry. So, yeah, it isn't even like, oh, you know, just a... Uh, um, like a holiday strictly for African Americans. It is also for other people who want to celebrate, you know, the African culture. Um, the meaning of the word Kwanzaa is the first or the first fruits of the harvest in the East African language of Kiswali. So, you know, that's what it means. Um, Kwanzaa is observed through from January 26, no, from December 26 to January 1st. Next is, is Kwanzaa a religious holiday? And it really isn't because it is unique that it is neither religious political nor heroic but rather a cultural holiday so it's cultural it's not like oh you know just because you're brown you do this or oh you know because i'm a republican i do this or you know nothing like that it is spirit it is strictly just a cultural holiday to celebrate the african culture is kwanzaa a christmas substitute no Though Dr. Karigna recognized the undue hardship that the overcommercialized of Christmas has for black people and others who are at the lowest rung of the social cetera. Therefore, those who find Kwanzaa to be more meaningful to them now have, a, now have an opinion and can still be part of the holiday season. So, yeah, you know, for Africans who are like, oh, you know, don't really celebrate Christmas and everything so that they kind of have, you know, a holiday to celebrate for themselves. So how is Kwanzaa celebrated? Kwanzaa can be celebrated in a number of ways. At a bare minimum, a table should be prepared with the following items. A placemat, usually made of straw, a candle holder for seven candles, seven candles, a variety of fruit, ears of corn, representing the number of children in the home, gifts of any, and a unity or, or communal cup for pouring and sharing libation. Each day of Kwanzaa, a candle should be should be lit beginning with the black candle which is placed in the center of the candle holder. Candles are then lit alternatively from left to right. Three green candles should be placed on the left and three red candles should be placed on the right. Each day a principle should be recited when the candle was lit. The importance that each principle has for the person reciting it should be expounded upon. Other suggestions can be found in this book. So yeah, those are just some um, common questions that people have for Kwanzaa and everything. So yeah, that was the video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it and definitely give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and if you learned something new because I honestly learned something new. I did not know that um, Kwanzaa was not a religious holiday. I thought it was like, oh, you know, if you're Christian and African American, you celebrate it. But no, it's not religious at all. It is just for culture and for everything like that for African Americans. So that is really nice to know. So definitely let me know if you learned something new in this video, if you found it beneficial, if you liked it. Um, I really had a fun time making it and there was a a lot of mistakes and errors because I could not pronounce anything but I definitely really tried um, yeah and definitely comment down below what something that you learned and something you want to you know learn to do in 2018 in the new year so I want to learn to not so I want to learn more about you know my culture and where I came from and you know to not procrastinate in school because I need to stop that um, and yeah if you guys like my videos if you guys like me you should definitely subscribe. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking the circle right around here. It has my face on it. You should definitely subscribe. You can click around for other videos that I've done. You can click over there for a video and click over there actually for a video. Kind of change it up on you guys. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!